Hello and welcome back to this edition of Daily Actives brought to you by Bootleg Macro. I am Dustin. We are looking at NVIDIA once again. One of the things that's really interesting about NVIDIA that I really consider to be an actual W right now is that it did have, from my understanding, a great earnings report. Now, this isn't financial advice. I don't really pay attention to fundamentals. I pay attention to purely just price and how the data speaks to me and the way that it's changing in and of itself. And one of the things that I find to be so super interesting and fascinating about it is that you see to the left here, you see these uh, volume spikes. That's what I call them. These are when you have spikes in volume. And I believe when they are, your volume of the day is higher than the 10-day rolling average. And it's the highest day of the past 10 days. What I find to be super cool about this is if you look that this one here, I didn't really expect on the 21st. Then you get another one on the 22nd. You get another one on the 23rd. And then today, obviously, after earnings, you get another one because you get a big spike. What I love about this move is that essentially you got a W, even though it was a grimy win. You were up 10 basis points for the day, but you stayed positive. And what that means is that the bulls, while there was a lot of change in the shares, it appears, there was essentially like a turnover in the share count, in the share base. Right? The type of investor, the type of trader, the type of person who was in it was either getting out or they were getting in. And that that's an important thing to understand because you, you want to see when the dynamic of a of a market changes and you start to see the way that like an individual stock can move, it's reflective of the people underneath. It's the decisions of the traders, right? So it's the decisions of the investors, of the sentiment of the market. And when you see that even though it was only up 10 basis points, it was still up, that shows you that it's slightly more bullish and all you need is a little bit of that, but that bearishness to kind of soak away and think you're going higher. I mean, you're positive on a one day, five day, 15 day, one month, three month and six month. And we have essentially flipped positive now in that one month only very recently. And we're not up as much as we were before. We've got a uh, go long in the short term, intermediate term and longer term. Those go shorts are kind of fading away. We're convincingly now bullish on the short term, intermediate term and longer term in terms of the trend as well. We look at the rolling sentiment. What I love is that we have a rising bull, which is just getting set up now. We are at 55% on the 10 day. We're going to be at 65% as of tomorrow, but no big deal. You do want to see some sustained kind of movement, especially considering how low we were for so long. Um, when I look over at the trading signals, one of the things that's most interesting to me is that this bear and bull key three is supposed to be set up essentially around like three or four or five specific indicators that are supposed to be like, you know, kind of interesting to pay attention to. And if you put them together, you can kind of get a signal. There's seven of the bull. <laughs> There's seven of them. Which is the thing has been flipping back and forth over the past four days. And it's been with such volume up and down that it's really kind of, um, it's been it's had to do a convincing case over and over that it is bullish so it's had to give multiple bull signals very recently so it did result in a buy signal that we have here we've got a big bull which is showing up a small bull which is showing up we'll probably get more of those over the next few days we can see in the chart that we've obviously broken out to what is now an all-time high i mean we're going to break out this is the weekly chart that is only through uh, last friday so obviously the last price that we had was 432 and the highest price that we have had, it looks like the high was 478. But for closing, it looks like that price was 467. Yeah, so 467 was the highest. Right now, we have closed up at 471. So if we close above this price, it'll be the highest closing price. Uh, and then if we could close a little bit higher than this, obviously, there is a lot of opportunity. I mean, we opened at 500. So we're already pretty much kissing the uh, the opportunity to go to an all-time high very, very quickly here in NVIDIA. Now, we look at the overall daily sentiment. It isn't really bullish. Like that's one of the interesting things. It's setting up to be bullish. It's not even currently that bullish. It was currently underneath that 50%, which it doesn't spend much time there, but it can be much higher. It can be at 61%, right? It can be at 63%. It can be at 60%. This thing is just, I mean, it's just getting there. It's at 53%. So there's a lot of room to grow. It's nice to see that the volume is really increasing as the price is moving. You see that inflection in the 15-day moving average of volume. It is inflecting up highest, <laughs> one of the highest volume days that we've seen in a long time in NVIDIA. We look at the volatility. The volatility is kind of rolling over. Uh, it is interesting to see that volatility hasn't broken out yet at all. We would like to see a big sustained move in volatility where that would show a lot of like momentum and kind of just like drive behind it. But we do see that the uh, the correlation is falling. So it is nice to see that the correlation is falling. And as well, we do have the uh, the volatility either flatlining or maybe starting to fall itself. That'd be really good just to see this thing kind of grind higher. But you can see we've gone from the bottom of the range uh, on the 11th to very close to the top of the range. The top of the range is 489. Um, Want to see what we do there. Obviously, we know that this is going to go much higher. Uh, the price right now would close much higher, but the very top of the range is at 552. I don't think that we're going to just like drive there, um, but we are not near necessarily the the top of the range at all. I mean, we're getting there, I guess, but it's uh, it's nice to see how we're moving. I think we have a lot of time and space to be able to cover when it comes to this ticker. And I think that there's a lot of bullish and bear sentiment that are going to kind of change hands here. I think on the daily, we've got a big opportunity to be really bullish again. On the weekly, uh, we are 
we we're on a mature move on the weekly, but there's no reason why you can't still be in the high fifties. And it just, you're still, you're still bullish, just not as bullish as this run has been. But tell me what you think in the comments below. Are you long? Are you short? Do you like it? Do you love it? Is this even a good review? And before you go, subscribe to the new high newsletter. We give you 25 stocks to your inbox every single Sunday, stocks between five and $20, stocks hitting all, uh, all time highs and 52 week highs. Send you a list of about 25 stocks every single Sunday. I'll talk to you soon.